Hello everyone, this is Fine from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. The Intel Core i9-3900KS becomes the first CPU to achieve 9 GHz frequency world record. It was just a few months ago when Intel broke AMD's previously held frequency world record of 8.79 GHz by having its Core i9-3900K Raptor Lake CPU push beyond the 8.8 .8 GHz frequency. And now, the upcoming Core i9-3900KS has broken past another record, which makes it the first on this planet to achieve 9 GHz frequency. Asus overclockers broke the 9 GHz barrier, smashing their own previous few frequency record. With that, the ROG Maximus Z790 Apex has 14 world records and 29 GFP scores, making it the Z790 record-breaking champion. The Intel Core i9-3900KS is already an insane clock chip, running at up to 6 GHz frequency out of the box. But as expected, enthusiasts and extreme overclockers who this chip is mainly targeted at have shown us the true overclocking capabilities of the chip. Asus in-house and renowned overclocker Elmore was able to hit a clock frequency of up to 9008.82 MHz or 9 GHz with the Intel Core i9-3900KS CPU using LN2 cooling. The motherboard used to achieve such a record was none other than the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Apex, which is also one of the best memory overclocking motherboards available right now. In a live demonstration, we can see that Scatterbencher along with Elmore celebrating the 9 GHz overclock on Core i9-3900KS chip. During the overclocking session, sub-zero temperatures of minus 250.2 degrees Celsius were achieved. Overclocking experts John Sandstrom and Peter Plasier helped set the record at an ASUS office in Taiwan earlier this month. Normally, the Core i9-3900K is designed to only offer max boost speeds at 5.8 GHz. However, the team was able to achieve far higher clock speeds uh, by using liquid helium to cool the CPU. Both Plasier and Intel have published videos documenting the achievement. The team first cooled the Intel processor to minus 196 degrees Celsius. That means minus 320.8 Fahrenheit before bringing the temperatures further down to minus 260 degrees while trying to overclock the CPU. The team's first attempt managed to overclock the processor to 8.9 gigahertz, but eventually the processor struggled to boot up due to the insanely cold temperatures. They also tried to use two other Core i9 chips as backups, but both processors came up short in performance. With the liquid helium running out, the team went back to their original Core i9 13900K rig to try and break the 9 gigahertz barrier. That's when the chip was finally able to reach a speed of 9008 megahertz over a single performance core in the processor while the temperatures were at minus 250 degrees. The overclocking site HWBot has since confirmed the feat. To achieve the overclocking, the team used an ASUS ROG Maximus Z790 Apex motherboard. In addition, a metal pot over the Intel chip was installed so that the extremely cold liquid helium could be used to cool the CPU. The Intel Core i9-3900KS will be the flagship Raptor Lake CPU featuring 24 cores and 32 threads in an 8P core and 16E core configuration. The 3900KS CPU features a thermal velocity boost frequency of up to 6 GHz, making it the first chip to hit that frequency out of the box. The CPU features a turbo boost max frequency of up to 5.8 GHz, while the P cores run at a uh, standard turbo frequency of up to 5.4 GHz, while the E-cores run at up to 4.3 GHz. The CPU will be featuring 68 MB of combined cache and a 150 Watt PL1 rating that goes up to 253 Watt and even beyond that using the extreme power profile modes. Now the Core i9-3900KS won't come cheap and will definitely cost a premium of $100 US to $200 US over the Core i9-3900K while also consuming much higher power. But that's why the chip will mostly be limited production run and quantities won't be the same as the standard Core i9-3900K CPUs. The CPU is slated to launch on the 
12th of January next year. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update. Thanks for watching. To change your